History of drama film. After the period of early films, melodrama came about during the transition from silent cinema to films with sounds. At this time, dramas were largely used as a tool for teaching the audience, for example, showing the effects of depression through a character's narrative. Dramatic films tended to focus on character relationships and development, and later on through the rise of crime and courtroom drama. Fifties saw the kitchen sink and new wave movement, showing more realistic views of the working class lifestyle in Britain. The 1960s and 70s saw a trend for more politically driven, sport focused, or war dramas. The relaxation of content censorship during this time meant that filmmakers were able to portray issues surrounding more hard hitting matters such as prostitution, homosexuality, and abortion. The 1980s and 90s showed evidence of modern day dramatic texts, placing more emphasis on emotional themes and historical issues and events. The 1990s in particular saw a focus on controversial subject matters like crime, drug use, and alcoholism, partially down to audience demand and a growth of interest in these areas. Dramas can use real life situations, making them loose in what they can use in their, than any other genre in similar writing. For example, the majority of dramas are a writing of either 15 or 18. Films that have a writing of 15 tend to include frequent strong language, although constant use of this could cause the film not to be passed as a 15. Sexual references or activities can be portrayed with no strong or graphic detail. Violence may be strong but not acceptable if gory images are shown. Discriminatory Discriminatory behaviour can also be shown, but this has to make sure it doesn't endorse it. Drugs and alcohol use can also be shown as long as it doesn't promote the use. Fish Chunk was rated at a 15 in UK due to the sexual content, including, although it didn't include graphical details, along with the frequent use of strong language, the use of alcohol and the character using it, it being 15. The film also featured scenes of slight violence in frightening and intense scenes. Films that have a rating of 18 tend to include frequent use of very strong language, there is no limit to the amount used, and can be aggressive, directed, or accompanied by stronger violence. Very strong violence, including sexual violence or infliction of pain or injury, can also be shown. Strong portrayals of sexual activity, including full nudity. Strong horror, including blood and gore. Real sex in some circumstances. As long as it's not a sex work, it can be rated an 18. Discriminatory language or behaviour, as long as it's not in breach of any relevant... relevant legalisation, drug alcohol use as well, as long as it doesn't again promote misuse. 18 films can involve anything as long as it sticks to the principles. If a film doesn't, doesn't it might be cut. Cuts can be made if the material is in breach of the law, if the material is at risk to individuals or if there are any more explicit images of sexual activity that cannot be justified by the context. This is England was rated 19 in the UK due to the strong use of violence and gore. Um, frequent use of the strong language, use of drugs shown, a young boy smoking cannabis, and the frequent use of intense and frightening scenes, which some include discriminating behaviour and gore. Audience expectations of the drama genre. Uh, most people said emotion, and they expect lots, lots of it in the drama genre. It's usually the main theme and the drive of the film. Uh, it's uh, social realism, some over-exaggeration in the acting, but no fast call pantomime acting. Uh, a lot of twists and turns in the story adds interest to the plot and drives it. Uh, there should be relationship issues which should revolve around the love story, usually a main or a subplot. It could be historical. Uh, it could involve death or illness, which could change the mood of the film or motivates the characters to change. It could have tra trauma in it and potential mental problems, such as Silver Linings Playbook. And uh, it should focus around the characters dealing with their problems. The drama genre has a few notable British directors. Shane Meadows is a BAFTA award winner known for films such as A Summer's Town, Dead Man's Shoes and critically acclaimed This Is England. His work is often exposed to the darker side of British culture, focusing on subjects such as racism in This Is England and immigration in A Summer's Town. Danny Boyle is famously known for directing the film adaptation of Trainspotting. The drama starring Ewan McGregor was named the 10th in the BFI's top 100 films of all time and was also voted the best Scottish film by the general public. The film tackled drug culture, a subject matter often associated with the drama genre, alongside themes such as relationships, gender and family. In 2012, Boyle's iconic reputation led him directing the opening ceremony of the 2012 London Olympic Games.